Wonderful to be here, to be back on stage in front of a full audience. Good on you. I'm so pumped up. And to be indoors. Recently, I've been doing gig outdoors to try to, you know, make people comfortable about COVID. And then people start complaining about the Japanese mosquito. <laughs> you can't win. Now we need a mandate for Aragard. <laughs> it's just scary. There's people here with masks on, and good on you, and I appreciate that. Wear a mask if it makes you comfortable. Be, be consistent. I was, on, I was on Beach Road the other day. There was a guy on one of those electric scooters doing about 80 kilometres an hour, looking at his phone, no helmet, wearing a mask. <laughs> good on you, mate. When you hit that truck, you're not going to get COVID. <laughs> but I... I wear a mask when I, when, I, when I should, on public transport. That doesn't always work out. I was on the light rail the other day. No one else on it. This bloke got on. I'm going to say that he was, you know, I reckon he was a meth enthusiast. <laughs> Plenty of seats be decided to sit next to me. <laughs> then he goes, Yeezy! <laughs> you can't hide behind that mask, I recognise ya! I'm like, mate, I'm not Michael Jackson in 1987. <laughs> I've got to wear the mask. He goes, you know what I've been up to today? And I think, I don't want to know. <laughs> he said, I stabbed two blokes. <laughs> I'm like, I hope you've got it out of your system. <laughs> <laughs> then he goes, what have you been up to? And I thought, I've got to impress this guy. <laughs> I said, I've been close to the edge as well, mate. I didn't even tap on for this ride. <laughs> We're both hard men. <laughs> anyway, no, I did tap on. Because uh, I'm a family man. I'm a good family man. <laughs> Anyone see me on Celebrity Gogglebox with my wife and a couple of my kids the other... Yes, a few of you are watching TV. Good on you. Uh, <laughs> anyway, my son didn't want to go, and he's 12, and he's too cool for me already. Dad, I'm at secondary school now. I can't be associated with you. <laughs> I'm paying for your secondary school, aren't I, mate? Anyway, no, the other night I was, his, his mother hugged me in the kitchen and he goes, you two should get a room. <laughs> I said, mate, we've got a whole fucking house. <laughs> you don't own shit. <laughs> if she didn't want to hug me, you wouldn't be alive, mate. <laughs> You're a great crowd. <laughs> I've never been so pumped up. <laughs> And I hope nothing I say tonight gets me trending, guys. I trend on Twitter too much. I say stuff and people get upset at me. The worst time was when I had... I, I said something about Joe Biden. He was doing a speech. I watched the speech. He wasn't going well. I thought it was the auto cue because when I'm, I'm on TV, I have trouble with auto cues as well. They won't let me use them. Apparently, it looks like a hostage situation when I read an auto cue. <laughs> So he's doing it all. He's, he's, he's doing a speech. I wrote on Twitter, he's having a mad struggle with his speech. Is it the auto cue? All right, and then I press send. Ten minutes later, go back to my phone. World War Three had started. <laughs> because apparently, oh, look, the first comment was, people hated me for that comment. I had no idea why. I had no idea. And then Wendy Harmer wrote, Yuzi, Joe Biden's got a stutter. You should know that. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't, Wendy. Because he doesn't stutter. Apparently he did when he was a kid, but that was in the 1800s. <laughs> no cop shit for three days. The worst one was when someone wrote, I used to find you funny, but I will never laugh at anything you do ever again because now you punch down. I had to look up what that meant. That means you have a go at someone of a lower social status than you. He's the president of America. <laughs> I'm on the tram with crackheads. <laughs> Thank you, have a great night. Thank you.